is a very special day for us here in North Hempstead because our quails have gotten to the point where they are ready, ready to graduate. To reg ready to graduate. Being released in our Hempstead Harbor woods, the most important thing that they're going to be doing is they're going to be eating ticks. And why is that so important? Because we know that ticks can actually transmit some very serious diseases and illnesses. I think we've learned our lesson over and over again that a healthy environment means a healthy people. And, um, and so we want to do our best to um, not put any more chemicals out there because that's making our environment unhealthy. The northern bobwhites are supposed to be here on Long Island. Our ecosystem is really getting out of balance here. There's a huge population of ticks. And so whenever, whenever there's a huge population of something, you know that something else is missing and that's the thing that eats them. And as it happens to be our northern bobwhite quail, but our quail are being eaten by cats. Our indoor outdoor cats are killing billions of birds a year. We are so fortunate because we have our own Ranger Powers who's been working with us to raise quails who actually brought this project to the town. And North Hempstead is, actually has the distinction of being the first municipality to take part in this uh, project. Suffolk County, um, I believe, has started doing this. Uh, the town of Brookhaven is also doing it. This is our third season. We start with the eggs, and they're at the Yes We Can Community Center, so we're so grateful. And when they get a little bit older, they need to start learning how to live as quails in the outside. And so we're so fortunate that this year, one of our great Boy Scouts actually built a quail pen that we have at uh, Clark Gardens. We've been training them in uh, flight pens, so these birds know how to fly, and they know how to fly very well, as a matter of fact. So when we release them today, we don't know if they're just gonna start walking away or if they're all just gonna burst into flight and we'll never see them ever again. So anything could happen. That's because they grew up in Clark Gardens, so they know they're in North Hempstead. They were ready. Right? They were ready. So what do we say? Have a good life. <laughs> Eat hearty. So as you're walking these trails and as you're riding on your bikes on these trails, keep an eye out for our quails because you will know that you were there when they got released. Also, we can keep our ears open too for their uh, telltale uh, call. Uh, the bobwhite quail males, um, they call like this, they go <laughs> So you can actually hear the, the, the sound, Bob White. We are so grateful to everybody who participated in this, who worked so hard to make sure that we have quails to release. Um, we hope that they'll find good buddies from last year and the year before. Um, we should have reunions every now and again. Uh, but so this, this is a very special day for us here in North Hempstead. Mm -hmm.